Hey YouTube, John here. I wanted to talk about everyday carry and an item that you're probably missing and a lot of other channels are missing as well. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to talk about everyday carry and I figured the best way to do that is an EDC dump. These are the things that I carry on me anytime I'm outside of the house. Um, and the other additional caveat is that I normally have a book bag, which extends my capabilities. I'll show a little bit about what's in that as well. But first off, let's go ahead and get the elephant out of the room. SIG M18 in nine millimeter. I know that's gonna ruffle some feathers just to begin with. Um, but you know, the Spear G2 is the 147 grain hollow point scored the highest on FBI testing. So all you guys that carry 45, I love you. I used to be one of you, but I switched because this magazine, the flush fit 17 rounds, my backup is 21 rounds. You do the math, carry in a mag carrier that is also inside the waistband. Another thing about the holster, it's Kydex. That trigger cannot go off. It's not going to get pulled, it's not gonna get stuck on anything. Not a fan of Serpas for that reason. Um, not a fan of nylon. Nylon holsters can get snagged on things. That trigger can get pulled through the nylon holster. Please be careful with that. That is something I just definitely don't recommend. Um, Pocket knife, this is uh, Ontario Knife Rat 1 folder. Super sharp, love it. AirPods, keys, let's see. Lighter, wallet. And the one thing, the one thing you're missing. Tourniquet, not a fake one either. Oh, let's see if we can get in the camera. Gen 7 cat tourniquet. I go with blue, typically, because if I drop it, I can usually find it a lot faster. But normally it doesn't fall. I actually have a, an orange one on my, uh, my visor. So if I'm ever away from my car and I need someone to get it for me, I can say, hey, grab that orange thing on my visor. Grab it and go. But yeah, tourniquets. There are a lot of channels that do not promote these. But if you're going to have one of these things, you need to carry one of these. No excuses. There, there is no excuse. Ignorance is no excuse at this point. There have been a disproportionate amount of creators in the YouTube preparedness community that don't carry these. They don't mention them. And they think they're too good to. If not for you, for someone else that gets injured because it might not be a gunfight. Probably won't be a gunfight that you get into. More commonly, you will get into a situation where somebody has an arterial cut, an arterial bleed. Then you've got two minutes. Tops. I, I don't understand why people that have a a certain amount of influence, a subscriber base that's large enough that do not promote the use of tourniquets or the carrying of tourniquets. It's very confusing. Um, I'm big into redundancy, so I'm gonna pull out my, in my backpack. I carry a kit. It's nothing extreme. I bought a, a stupid fanny pack, whatever, but it has another tourniquet in here. It has chest seals. It has extra gauze. It has an emergency trauma dressing in it. I mean, it's nothing extreme. But there is no excuse to not carry, at the very minimum, a tourniquet. There isn't one. You cannot convince me. It's easy to teach someone. It's easy to learn how to, to apply one. It's not difficult. I'll probably do one, but there's a ton of them on YouTube. I implore you, just go find one. 
and to the creators, the ones that have a great reach, a huge influence, please start carrying these. Promote the use, the identification, the, the knowledge on how to apply these. You can save lives with this. It's frustrating to see channels with such a big reach fall short on something so simple. This is $30. It can save a life. I know it's not as sexy as, oh, what kind of ammo you carry? It grinds my gears that so many channels do that. And you can kind of tell which ones actually care for you, the viewer, by what they promote. I'm not making money off of this. That's not my goal. My goal is to grow the community and to help you out. That's all I gotta say. Please carry a tourniquet. Please make sure it's TCCC approved. And that's it. I'm out. Peace.